you know, holidays are a big thing for most people. And uh, there's a holiday coming up. And it's funny, years ago, Joel Salatin told me something that I've never forgotten and I've tried to live my life by. He was my first mentor and he said, Ty, uh, you know, if all you do is live for the weekends and the holidays, you're doing something wrong in your life. And uh, now the way I look at life, it's pretty simple. I call it oblivious living and I mean that kind of tongue in cheek. If uh, I don't know what day it is, I'm doing something right. And uh, that sounds a little counterintuitive, but think about it. Holidays are man-made, right? Native Americans a long time ago and different cultures used to go by things that aren't man-made. So they'd go by the cycles. So like spring, winter, summer, fall, in the new moon, all those things. And I'm not talking about anything new agey. I'm just saying common sense, right? So since then, there's been a, a move towards man-made holidays. And, and I don't think they're necessarily evil. This isn't something I'm black and white on and trying to eradicate holidays. It's, it's generally a philosophy of living. You know, one of my favorite phrases are, you have to, uh, is, I should say, uh, you have to ask yourself, what does winning look like to you in life? You know, and we tend to adopt other people's ideas of winning. And holidays kind of fall into that, you know. Uh, for me, if I'm a little bit oblivious, like I don't know it's Saturday, or I don't know it's Friday, or I don't know it's Monday. I feel like I'm doing something right because then I'm just living my life, you know? I don't want to be TGIF, thank God it's Friday. I don't want to uh, loathe Mondays uh, because Mondays, mathematically, are one-seventh of my life, you know? Fridays are one-seventh of my life. Holidays are even worse odds, you know? Holidays are a few times a year, so maybe it's two percent of your life so what you want to do or what I decided I wanted to do I wanted to win at the 80 percent of my life and if the 20 percent of my life isn't perfect you know at least I got the majority right and it's interesting there's a good book uh, I was just reading for the book of the day it's called uh, the upside of your dark side and it kind of a counterintuitive book that talks about how you know anger is okay and jealousy and envy and lust and how all these things um, have have purposes and that's why we still have them in our brains those functions and one of the things it said that I thought was interesting is that a certain percent of your life it's okay to be stressful like 20% of your life shouldn't work out because as the great Nietzsche said you know what doesn't kill you makes you stronger well up to a point he was right so if 80% of your life is stressful that's gonna kill you uh, quicker than you'd want if 20% of your life is stressful that's gonna make you stronger it's kind of like little kids they say you shouldn't always wash their hands with the antibacterial soap and go overboard you should be clean but if you go overboard kids immune systems uh, aren't exposed to enough stressors to really express themselves and, and grow and be strong so that when the kids older they'll have a strong immune system well it's the same way with life you know you want 20 percent of your life to not work out and that's why if you're looking forward to optimizing the holidays like you have a perfect plan what you're going to do on the holiday and oh you know next month i have off from work well that's optimizing for the 20 percent that's the opposite of what you should be doing you should be optimizing the 80 percent and letting the 20 percent fall where it may so you know, for me, I'd rather have my holidays unplanned, like I forgot to plan them. That's what I mean by oblivious. Like, oh, everybody's all excited, they're going to the beach, or they're making Christmas perfect, or they're making Thanksgiving, or whatever day it is. Um, and for me, I'd rather have 80, the other 80% of the days of my life all figured out, going well, optimized, and then, you know, forget the 20%. So, it's that Pareto principle in reverse, the 80-20 principle. So. Think about that in the holiday. It's a great way that I check myself. You know the old hip hop saying, check yourself before you wreck yourself? Well, I use that on myself. I go, Ty, are you thinking a lot about the weekend? Are you thinking a lot about a certain holiday? Because if you are, it's a good indication that you better rearrange big swaths of your life, you know? And think about it. Most of the world, think of what masses of people think about. They think about, I can't wait till this weekend. I can't wait till next month. You know, we don't even know if we'll make it to next month alive. Life is short. One of my buddies said he's had a friend die uh, every month of this year almost. And uh, so the longer you live, 
the more the odds are that something can go wrong. So make sure you optimize that 80%, you know. Don't get too excited about the holidays. Again, you know, the, just to be balanced. There is nothing wrong with holidays. I like Thanksgiving, it's a good time. Family all gets together, people have fun. Uh, so at that level, I see some real value to it. But, um, not, you know, like I said, it's man-made. Half this stuff is from big companies to use to their advantage to make a lot of money. You know, Hallmark, gift card companies, they, they're the ones that blew up all these stressful, uh, you know, and turned holidays from, I think, what they meant to be and, and uh, obviously, I'm not blaming somebody like Hallmark for everything. I, that That's overly simplistic. But there is some truth to the marketing of these holidays becoming a big deal for retail stores all over the world. Think how important Christmas is. You know, some companies wouldn't be in business if it wasn't for Christmas. So beware of perverse incentives, as the great Charlie Munger says. You know, I talk about that in 67 Steps. I, that's one of the ones that I that I like the most. You know, the incentive structures of the world. Uh, organisms, if you remember back in biology, it said the definition of life is response to stimulus. That means response to incentives. So this whole world is built around incentives. So if holiday, if companies, retail companies, gift card companies, all these companies have a real incentive to make these holidays seem like they're the most important thing that you can ever have. But again, you know, think, don't be stupid. That's what I tell myself all the time, Ty, don't be stupid, get it together. Get the 80% right and the 20% will take care of itself. It's the same with diet, it's the same with making a lot of money. You get the 80% right rock and rolling in whatever you're doing to make money and the 20% let it be chaotic, you know. You have to, there's a great book um, called The One Thing by Gary Keller. If you've been on my 150 most recommended books, it's one of the top ones. And he says, you know, one of the things, and he's a guy who started several, I think, I think they're about billion dollar valuation companies. He said, look, some things have to be chaotic and you gotta learn to embrace the chaos. But what you don't want chaotic are the important things. That's what I'm saying. For me, if my holiday or even my weekend's chaotic and unplanned out, I want the majority of my week, which is, you know, five or six days out of my week to rock a roll and be moving towards the purpose that I consider winning. So think about it that way. And uh, like I said, don't freak out. The most suicides and breakups, all that happen around holidays. It just shows you the stress of when you get your mind not aligned with reality. And like I said, a great, uh, a great uh, measure of reality is natural cycles. So like, I think it's wise to celebrate and understand the seasons of life. So if you live somewhere where it's winter, Joel Salton used to tell me, you know, winter's a time when you sit inside and you think and you read a lot, you don't go outside as much, maybe you put on a little bit of fat, that's okay, the body's built to be cyclical, you eat heavier foods, and when spring comes, you plant new ideas, you experiment. Uh, when summer comes, you put in hard work, you're, you're working hard, and then when fall comes, you enjoy what you did. I think those natural cycles are the holidays that should exist. But see, the retail stores don't know how to make money on that, so they don't talk about that as much. But anyway, you make up your own holidays, you know? All right, anyway, talk to you soon.